Today I'm going to be presenting the proper way of using a blood pressure machine and doing a manual blood pressure via a patient. The first three things that you're going to need for equipment is a sphygmometer, a blood pressure cuff, and a stethoscope. When taking a manual blood pressure, it is very important to have the proper cuff when doing this. In order to decide and figure out what is a proper cuff, usually a cuff comes with a measuring label on it. This measuring label here, you will place on a patient's arm and make sure the patient's arm is within these two measurement lines here. This cuff right here will be perfect for this patient. Another way of figuring out a proper cuff for a patient is taking the cuff and placing it over the arm and seeing if it wraps around the arm about one and a half times. As I did just now, this cuff is a proper cuff for this patient. It is very important to have the proper cuff for a patient because it will determine the blood pressure of the patient. If the cuff is too big, it will give you a false low reading. If the cuff is too small, it will give you a false high reading, which in return will affect any due meds for that patient via blood pressure. Another factor when taking a manual blood pressure is the positioning of a patient. As the patient is sitting right now, this would not be a proper way of taking a blood pressure. I would ask this patient to please uncross her legs to the floor, put both arms to the side. Also, clothing will be a factor in taking the blood pressure. I would have her remove the sleeve from her right arm or her left arm, depending if there's any precautions. She will remove her right arm. I will size her arm using the measuring device here, as we did earlier, and notice that the cuff is the proper size. Place the cuff artery line towards her antecubital, wrap it around her arm, take the stethoscope, and place it on her antecubital. Now before I perform this procedure, I need to explain the sigmometer. The sigmometer has this bowl, which I will be inflating. As I inflate, I will be going up to about 200. When I reach 200, I will be deflating it slowly using this knob. This knob will decrease the numbers for me until I hear the first thud. That first thud will give me her systolic reading. After getting her systolic reading, I will continue to hear little thuds. Usually around around 80, I should be hearing a faint reading of a thud. Once I hear that very last thud, that will give me her dystolic reading. At this moment, I will be performing a blood pressure for you. first thought I heard was at 118. At around 80, the thuds are getting lighter, and the last thud I hear is at 66. So her blood pressure was 118 over 66. So her systolic, once again, is 118, and her diastolic is 66. When you're done with doing a blood pressure, you may remove the equipment, have the patient put her the jacket back on, and properly put away your equipment. At this point, this concludes my presentation on taking a proper blood pressure, and thank you very much for your assistance. Thank you.